you know, stuff and words and chin chin up shots. Everybody loves a chin up shot, right? So today what we're gonna be doing is I'm gonna try to document uh, pretty much the entire day um, for the videos and we'll see how that goes um, from a time it's early I was up late I'm tired um, but what we're gonna do today is we're gonna kind of try to do as much of a, a video log of the day um, and I gotta get to the shop it's early it's not that early but it's early for a guy that goes to bed at now midnight in comparison to what I used to do we gotta get to the shop so that we can get our first delivery um, of the day because there's a dry goods order they um, have their own logistics systems and they come in and they drop their they drop their stuff so if I don't get there they'll just leave it at the door and that's a little bit of a problem All right, so we're at the store. A little dark, a little dark. And this is basically what happens when I come in every morning. And I come in, kick some lights on. Most of the lights don't turn on. This ballast is a garbage. And usually before I do anything, I will walk the store and make sure that there isn't any immediate concerns that need to be addressed. Usually looking for water on the floor, listening to the pumps, making sure the pumps are fine. There's no issues with them. Neurotically check my door to make sure that it was left locked. I don't have any auto top off uh, systems attached to any of my tanks because I pull so much water out of them during the sales, but um, it kind of creates not the most stable environment, but I want to be able to control everything. Looks like everything's all good. So we got here a little bit before the delivery of dry goods, the first delivery. Uh, today, what I'm expecting for deliveries is the company that they deliver it themselves, uh, which they operate out of Massachusetts. Um, they're usually here first thing in the morning. I should be getting a delivery from FedEx, which is actually uh, nothing I ordered. It's a gentleman that wanted to uh, experiment with his shipping of corals. Uh, he doesn't have a business or anything. Uh, he just kind of does things on the side and he wanted to try out selling or shipping corals. Um, so we got that going on. Then we got a live fish order delivery today. And then we also have a dry goods order today, which the dry, good, the dry goods order is pretty small. It's not really that big. Um, actually, it's just some Kessel lights because I've been selling quite a few of those um, recently for folks that um, everybody who has the uh, Evo 13.5 uh, there's quite a few folks that have the Evo 13.5 so uh, that's basically everything that I'm gonna handle before the store even opens and then usually about a half an hour before the store opens we kick all the lights on some of it's automated some of it's not and then we check um, to make sure everything is alive and kicking there's certain fish that i feed twice a day and yeah so I'll probably after that once we're open we'll do some phone calls call up some customers that have been waiting on some products uh, that we special ordered and then we will do uh, tank maintenance 
which shouldn't be too bad today. I wanted to work on the fresh water tanks. I worked on uh, the fish holding systems yesterday and I need to work on the coral tanks a little bit and then definitely want to knock out the fresh water tanks. I'm not going to be doing any water changes today, but I like to get set up for water changes tomorrow and then clean the glass today. So all that's what we got going on, but um, I need to get some caffeine. I need to get my computer set up, check some emails before we get started. So we got one bag that's banged up. Banged up actually pretty good. Um, we'll just call them, get a credit on that. And I'll probably tape that up and sell it. For small order. Small order. Didn't really have a whole lot in this one. Um, it was just a couple things for customers. And then if I don't order $750 worth of stuff, um, cost to me, then they have a charge on there. So. I just figured I'd grab some other things while I was uh, doing some special orders. All right, so we got delivery one down. Um, there is some stuff that I'm only going to have to add to the system. Um, I believe this Florida crushed coral is new, the 40 pound variety. Both the uh, BioCube stands, which I was just going to buy one, ended up buying both. Um, so we have those available if customers are interested in buying BioCubes. I, I think this fall, my big goal is to have a BioCube set up and running uh, stories and then have a bunch of them up here ready to go. I think that that's. It's a pretty good Christmas gift, uh, especially like for like the, the big Christmas gift. So I like to have a few of those kicking around and that's, you can give that to a guy that even has a reef tank. So like they can put, set that up in their office or what have you. Look at that. Look at that pink trachea. Gadgets, gadgets, gadgets. I'm gonna go ahead and take inventory. I'm gonna have to email uh, the company to get a store credit on that damaged product. Um, <clears throat> We got customer orders here. We're gonna have to make some phone calls for them to come pick up this stuff. Get that in the system, get the crushed coral in the system, update the inventory and make some room for it because I've been stocking up on the uh, sand. We, we, we've been selling a lot of sand lately, but I have uh, replenished rather quickly. So um, some of this is actually a special order. So we'll have to get a hold of that customer as well. Uh, and then we got a another small dry goods order that's going to be coming in today um those are going to be kessel lights uh, which we have customers for both those lights and then we potentially could have um another customer interested in those lights as well so we're selling we're selling the kessel a80s like they're going out of style then we got a coral delivery which we've already talked about that and a fish delivery which the fish in the dry goods order will come together the coral order um that actually i didn't order that is somebody that's a subscriber that's testing out their shipping methods uh they're shipping me a box of coral which will be coming via fedex so hopefully that goes well because we all know how that's been um i need to kick the ac the ac on in here i'm sweating Sweating up a storm by yes sir. Yes sir. All you folks from Maine don't know that I'm from Maine. I'll tell you what, I'm from Maine, all right. All right, uh, so we're gonna do some computer stuff, write some emails, and then hopefully we'll have some more deliveries uh, show up here. All right, so we just got a delivery from FedEx. I forgot to grab my tripod. Uh, we got the delivery from a gentleman that was looking to test out his shipping process. Um, not 100% certain that he wants me to share it on video or not. I'll talk with him prior to actually adding it to the video. But um, we're going to do a filming of the opening, whether I share it with you guys or just him. Um, 
for educational purposes while using a tripod with one arm. It's not that easy. It's not that easy, folks. Don't try this at home. And we're recording. Okay, so we got our package here. Um, shipped it in a cooler. Uh, the first suggestion I would make with that is using a box as well that um, even if it doesn't fit perfectly in the box because that's going to offer a little bit more insulation. Granted, um, he shipped this and it was supposed to arrive by the end of the day and I got it before 10.30 a.m. which usually when I order stuff online and have it shipped to me and it's delivered by 10.30 a.m. I don't get it until after 10.30 a.m. So maybe that's the secret sauce. Maybe um, not having your order delivered by 10 a.m. or 10.30 a.m. is a trick. So it's got some pretty thick cooler. It's actually way thicker than uh, what I've seen in the past. Then you got um, bubble wrap and nice we got some specimen cups here awesome so what he did is he has it in the specimen cup and put some styrofoam in there as well so that they weren't banging around I like that quite a bit well done not exactly sure what that is that's a toad sole looks like some type of sinulera I think he threw some other stuff in there. That looks like uh, a stylo, maybe? Maybe, sort of. Another toadstool. Another toadstool. I like the fact that he's taking care with even some really basic corals. It feels really done really well. There's even some polyp extension in there. We got here, it's like some type of monipora. Sinulara looks like it's folded up, not too happy at the moment. Another toadstool. Call him the toadstool man. Another one. Nice, that's a beast mode one. And then another toadstool. All right, so that is it. What I'm going to do now, typical coral receiving fashion, we're going to go ahead and float these. Uh, my lights are kicking on now, so what I'm going to do is turn the lights off and uh, float these guys for a little bit, and then we'll do some dipping and then add them to uh, the frag tank. All right, so uh, about like five minutes before I open, uh, still adding fish to tanks, dipping corals, um, and I got to pick up at the same time. So uh, it seems to be more often than not on Wednesdays, this is kind of how it is. It's like rush, 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 and then it's usually slow. The only day that really picks up like right off the bat is Friday. As soon as I open, people are in here grabbing stuff. Want to buy stuff? Here's my money. Should be talking to this camera. Should be getting stuff ready. So right now we have opened up, we're open. Open sign, doors unlocked. Fish are in place, corals have been dipped. I got a couple pieces that are fire, straight fire, uh, from a vendor that I haven't done business with yet, so I'm pretty excited about that. Uh, one of them, of which I'm going to be keeping for myself, I'm doing it, I'm doing it. It's not my take yet. It's not in my tank yet, but I am keeping one of them for myself. Um, and also there was an interesting piece that was in there that I was checking out. Um, I actually got some chalices last week and had the opportunity uh, with this new vendor, check them out. And it looked very similar in the picture and I'm not entirely certain that it's a uh, different species and it has a completely different name. So. 
I don't know. But uh, we'll take a look at that stuff here before uh, the end of the day. But I'm going to let it settle in for a little bit and um, we'll show you guys what we got for corals. Right now, what I'm going to do is I got all my special orders set aside. Uh, I'm going to update the inventory in the computer system and then I'm going to make some phone calls uh, to some folks, some messages, see if we can get some people in the store. And there's something that I'm pretty excited about. Pretty excited about. I think I have developed a process in which to get clowns to host pretty easily. I get my super duper awesome sunglasses out. So you guys will yell at me because of the blues. But we have a little dude hosting. Not really a little dude. It's a pretty big dude. Probably a girl at this point. But um, that whole process of putting them in the basket with the anemone doesn't take too long. Even for an older clown that has no history of hanging out in an anemone. So pretty cool stuff. All right, I gotta get to work. This one's for you. Don't be such a grouch. Try it out a little bit. I think we made it a little bit better. A little bit better. It zoomed in. It zoomed in on my face. I'm sorry. This weird, like, fight club, fight club lighting. Oh, smashing corals. Smashing corals. A little bit of a learning process, don't worry, don't worry. Alright, so some of the corals that we got from... The gentleman is that right there, which is on top of another coral. Probably not going to work out too well if I do that. So I moved him right there. Um, obviously, it's going to take him a day or so to get happy again. But we got quite a few new additions. Oh, that's something different uh, for the tank. So uh, we got some toadstools. Uh, separate, unrelated order. We got some Monipora in here. Um, got some Beast Mode Duncans going on. The Toadstools are doing pretty good. And one other thing that I got that I'm pretty excited about uh, is these purple... So dark. These purple Staghorns. Pretty awesome. That's a green Slimer right there in the middle. Uh, these guys are pretty awesome. Camera doesn't really do it justice. They are pretty sick. And then we got some, where are they? Right here. We call them plutonium chalice. We got two of them. Tricky. A little trachy. Good stuff, good stuff. Alright guys. Oh, oh, oh. Um, Alright guys, so it is 701. It's time to close up. Um, really good day today. Really, really good day today. Got I mean not a ton of orders, but when folks came in, they dropped uh, they dropped some dollars, so kind of made up for yesterday because yesterday was one of the slowest days that we've had in a couple of weeks, so. There we go. All right, door's locked. We're gonna hit the open sign. And that is a wrap on today. In case you guys are wondering how I went about uh, filming those corals real quick, I've bought my third porthole from a vast marine, and this time I got a lens. So, for all you grouchy uh, commenters, um, we got a lens now. So, it won't be all washed out with blue. I didn't think it was that bad. I didn't think it was that bad, but there's quite a few that complained about it. So, uh, I'm gonna feed Dory. That's gonna be a wrap on today. I got some stuff I need to do in the back uh, to prep for deliveries for tomorrow. And, uh, yeah, so pretty good day. Pretty good day. I think that this is going to be the way that I 
do most of my recordings going forward, you know, with the exception of the One Take Sunday. I think it's a little bit more productive. It's a little bit more of what I actually wanted to do and not so much what it became because it turned into this thing where I was basically, I'd come to work, I'd do my thing in the morning, I would run the store, we'd close up, and then I'd sit here and think about what actually what I'm going to do for a video and it just turns into me be like, so, yeah, and uh, got some corals going today, um, you know, stuff and words and chin chin up shots. Everybody loves a chin up shot, right? So try to avoid that. Um, put out some more vlog esque style, kind of share this journey with you guys. I'd be lying to you if I said that I haven't been kicking around the idea of not doing the daily videos anymore and uh, just because I'm more out tired I got you know I got stuff to do I got stuff to do I got a business to run and I gotta start thinking about some of the next steps with this um, oh she is mad at me I'll show you guys this is our daily thing She's like, where have you been? Basically do this with her until she starts getting lazy. But that's about that's gonna be about the end of that. Um she's getting lazy. As soon as she gets lazy, she stops getting the mice. It's just how it is. Alright folks, that's gonna do it for today. Thank you so much for joining me. If you're new to the channel, hit that subscribe button. If you enjoyed this style of video, let me know. Hit the thumbs up. If you didn't, and you wish I'd just go away, why don't you go ahead and hit that unfollow button. That's going to do it for today. I'll see you guys tomorrow right here with a brand new video. Peace.